I know, I know, a lot of you guys are probably heading to the comment section right now to tell us how much you hate Tryon and how bad this release was. And I was a bit shocked, but honestly, we shouldn't have been surprised because this isn't the first time. In fact, I think that every single Arc Age expansion that I've experienced has been horrible. But I don't want this video to just be about that because I'm sure there's a million YouTube videos talking about how bad the expansion was and if you guys were there for my stream well then you know that I was pissed as fuck so in this video we are going to just talk about my actual in-game experience though there may be some references to this horrible release Tryon decided at the last minute to make a second fresh start server this is a good and bad thing because it kind of separates the community but it did bring down the queue time somewhat and honestly I just don't know how I feel about it but I chose server vengeance and for anyone who wanted to play with me or join my guild, I told them to roll server vengeance as well. Now even though I still had that, uh, maybe I should have joined Reckoning, I didn't want to change my mind at the last minute. It was already set, I already made an announcement, everyone was going vengeance. The good thing is, I didn't have to deal with the shitty queue as much as you guys on Reckoning had to. The only bad thing about making this decision is that I can't play with a lot of my friends because they chose server Reckoning. So maybe in the future once I'm geared and all that, I may end up transferring to Reckoning, but at the moment I'm cool with Vengeance. Cool thing is, is that me and my guild grabbed a lot of land. We got a nice section in Solace. Cool because it's like the whole guild is connected. And I also grabbed some land in other areas because your boy's about that real estate life and he's going to sell that shit. I was also a founder for Arc Age back in 2014, so for those of us who were, we got a special costume and glider and some other cool shit. Now I didn't receive this and I was complaining about it on stream, luckily a GM was watching and they gifted me my founders pack stuff which was awesome. So GM if you're watching this video, thank you for doing that so I didn't have to wait an extra 24 hours for arc age support i made it to about level 35 but i'm pretty sure if i didn't have to deal with these constant disconnections and server queue i'd be about 50 right now maybe more and as far as pvp goes i did get a little action as a streamer i've dealt with stream sniping so many times so when people try to stream snipe me it usually doesn't bother me because i'm able to react so quickly and whoop their ass and yeah that happened right here a very limited experience in arc age So what's the benefits of being a pirate? Uh, hold on. Somebody's trying to kill me here. Get fucked, dude. Get the hell out of here. Uh-oh. Yeah, you got that guy that was talking mad shit coming at you? Yep. He's going purple. Oh, he's got his pet out too. He's like, let me come finish the job. Okay. You little bitch. I got disconnected, are you serious? Come on, bro. But then you guys can see at the end, a beta came to finish me off because I guess I killed his friend who purpled on me for no reason, you know? We're part of the same faction. I thought we were cool. What I do like about the new housing system and the way that they've prevented people from taking all the land is that you can only have two unfinished plots or houses down at once. So until you finish constructing one or both of those, I'm not sure if it's both or just one, you can't place more land down. And being able to see all this land available in Arc Age is just awesome because whenever I played, it was always taken. There were just so many bots and it was a bunch of bullshit, but now they've prevented that. And no, there's not a lot of land because the game is dead because right now, Arc Age has so many players, it is fucking crazy. So if you guys are new and you plan on playing Arc Age, I would recommend sitting it out for a few days until they fix their servers so you don't get disconnected and so you don't sit in a queue. Unless you want to be one of the top players, then I guess, you know what, you just gotta start now. Because time is being wasted that you can be getting geared. Only shitty thing is, you'll have to deal with the bad servers at the moment. They also said that they had a grace period, which I did experience back in closed beta. If you got disconnected or crashed, you can hop right back into the game. However, this time when I get disconnected or crashed, I hop back into a queue, even if I connect one minute later and I'm in queue for another hour. So grace period my ass. And if you guys are wondering why I chose a female Warborn, it's because I wanted to play one of the new races. However, I don't want to play a dwarf and I never make lolies in any game. It's just not my style. And the Warborn males look like giant meatballs. And some of the starting armor in this game looks so good that I think I'm going to transmog it for my character later on. When it comes to the transformation, I can't say that it's really that OP. What I do like about it though is that it has some AoEs and has some gap closers which might be really helpful. I did see a level 50 in the Halki War 
and this dude was like in his transformation form just purpling on people and it was like what the fuck he was just destroying people in his ravager form but that's probably because he was level 50 and most of us were in our 30s so that's pretty much everything for now with my arch 3.0 experience and i'm going to continue playing it today for those of you who have been watching my past videos you'll see that there's always this intro a lot of you say it reminds you of adult swim i think that's pretty cool because i grew up on adult swim like adult swim made me those intros are only on the videos that are made from my live streams and they're in 720p 60 frames per second now the reason being is because you can't stream in 1080p like it's just not going to work even lyric who is like one of twitch's biggest streamers i'm sure he's rich as hell streams in 720p 60 frames per second the one thing that might make it a little bit less quality than 720p is that when i turn my characters in some games it gets blurry but i did up the bit rate a little bit so maybe it will look better in the future and it does really bother me not being able to put out 1080p videos but i hope you guys understand also those live stream videos tend to be more long than the usual, you know, five minute, six minute informative videos that I make. And I really hope you guys enjoy it because these videos are so much easier for me to make. It's like I can live stream during the day and at night and then overnight I'll just edit the videos. Do you ever sleep? No, I don't. And that's about it for this video. So I will catch you guys in the next one. Let me know how your ArcH 3.0 experience has been. And yes, I'm sure it's been horrible with the queue and all the disconnecting. So. Now maybe you can tell me about your actual in-game experience if you were able to get in-game. But you know, if you want to vent a little bit and just, you know, complain about trying or whatever, I do understand. I'll catch you guys in the next one. See you soon, friends.